Hey everyone, it's Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to color an ethereal spirit animal using the Color Therapy app. This is a really fun way to bring any animal images in the app to life by making them spirit-like. It's perfect for Halloween. If you'd like to follow along, find this image under Animals Ethereal Foxes. All right, so let's start off by going to the turquoise palette and you can choose any colors that you want. I just chose this palette because I think it's really fun. So let's set it to gradient. So I'm using the fourth color from the right on the second row. Let's set the gradient so that it's lighter on top and I'm gonna tap in the body. For the chest, let's do the last color on the second row and let's set the gradient so it's lighter in the middle. Just tap it in. And then for the tip of the tail, let's use the second color on the last row so it's lighter on top. Tap that in. And then around the eyes, let's use the sixth color on the second row. And the gradient is just light to dark as well. Tapping in around the eyes. And you want to set the gradient so that it is darker on the right side. And tap it in around the eyes. Go over to the spooky Halloween palette and use the fourth color on the second row. And let's tap in the sky. The gradient, it doesn't matter if it's up or down, it's all good. And then scroll over to Maleficent palette. And I'm going to use the third color on the bottom row. Gradient, I'm just tapping in those rocks. So before you color in your animal, you want to make sure your background is settled. Let's start with the airbrush tool. So I'll do 100 for the opacity and then the size between 1 and 7. So we can start with 5. So over in the spooky Halloween palette, let's choose that really bright blue. It's a second uh, row, third color from the right. So I'm going to brush some strokes in for where the fur is. So I'm just going to add it all in. And right now I have coloring inside the lines mode set to aw. Kind of just blending some bright color into the tail same with the fur pretty much just all over curve those lines with the shapes you can start to bring some of that fur off of the edges too into the background and you can also lower it down to size one just for some more detail furs now let's draw a nice glow around the fox so airbrush tool size 65 and opacity at 30. so we're going to draw a nice glow just going all around it really softly Let's use the hair tool now. Size 90 and opacity 100. So same color, let's just brush in some texture into the hind leg here, as well as the tail. Now back in spooky Halloween palette, let's use the fourth color on the second row. Let's do airbrush tool size one and opacity at 75. Now we're gonna line the mouth, nose, eyes, and ears. So I'm just gonna make a line for that and underneath the chin too. You can turn coloring inside the lines mode on. You can color in the nose. And I'm outlining the eyes simply. Might do a little bit, a few lines coming down to the snout as well. And then the ears, I'm just gonna outline it too. I'm just gonna follow those lines down just to give them a bit of, you know, contrast. Now let's switch over to white. Now we're gonna highlight some fur areas. I'm gonna focus on the chest right now and I'm just doing quick, short strokes on the chest. And I think I'm gonna turn coloring inside the lines mode to off right now. I want to extend some of the fur out again with white and I'm doing this very loosely and kind of messily just to add in that ethereal look. I'm going to add a little bit to the muzzle right here and some to the ears. I'm just bringing it outwards a lot, being very generous with those lines. So I'm right now I'm sort of going to trace the outline of the body just so very slightly, just very slightly so it has a nice glowing look. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but just a few areas for interest. So focus on highlighting the hind leg edges and the edges of the tail and chest. You can also extend the tail a little bit. You can draw some little curly cues and some lines coming out. Now let's use a smear tool, size 25 and opacity at 100. Now with coloring inside the lines mode still off, let's just really nicely blend the edges of the fox. So we're extending the body and the tail, making it look really magical, giving it a little bit of transparency. So blend these colors upward and outward from the body. And it's really up to you how much you want to smear and blend. You could do a lot more or a little bit. You can even add some color coming off of the tail. So switch back to the spooky Halloween bright blue color and you can add a little like little wisps coming off little shapes you can blend those again too now over in the glow palette select the third color on the second row and then back in the airbrush tool let's do size six and opacity at 70 and just softly add in two areas of the fur 
You can turn coloring inside the lines mode on or off as needed. I would add it right underneath the, the neck and the chin and any areas where you see shadows. So maybe a little around the eyes and then to the ears. I'm adding a little shadow right here along the chest and along the arms too. Kind of in the middle of the arms and then below the chest into the tail and a little bit of the hind leg. Now let's add some more layers with a thin fur tool. Size 45 and opacity at 80. And do the same thing. We're just going to brush in more layers of fur. So just zooming in so you can see just more layers and layers just to really help blend it. Again, turning coloring inside the lines mode on or off as needed. Now for some details, let's just use the pen tool. Size 1, opacity 50. And you can do sampling, sample colors from the tail. Make sure coloring inside the lines mode is off. And you can add in some stray little pieces of fur and elements of this ethereal animal just coming off of the fur. And last but not least, you can also use the fairy tool for some extra little glitter. Let's do size 1, opacity at 75. And I would use white and you can just sprinkle it around. Add it to wherever you would like. Now don't forget to color in the lantern as your last step. You can also try using different colors for your spirit animals like blue or green, just depending on what you're going for. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.